Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting esoteric, and everything else in between. And this is my witchy room tour. So I've collected some items and did a lot of work since probably the last tour I've done, which I don't even remember when that was, but <laughs> welcome to my room. So I do crafts in this room. I do witchy spells in this room. I conduct meetings in this room. I write in this room. I do a, a lot of things in this room. So this year, one of my really huge accomplishments is that I became a Reiki um, master teacher, and I'm just showing off my um, Reiki degrees here. I'm very proud of this, and yeah, I, I like to see that. I want to have those on the wall. And um, this is actually from last year from uh, Michael's. I'll come back to this later and take those things off and show you how that looks when it's fully closed and so forth, but I love that piece. All right, so I just kind of want to put us back on our beginning of the tour. So we sort of stopped, we looked at the degrees, and um, I said I would talk about um, that hanging altar. But I also just kind of wanted to give you a full span of the room as well. So that's what we're doing here. Just kind of take the entire room in from the doorway. Um, Basically, this is the entire room. So I have a good amount of items in here, but I try to keep it from feeling um, too too overwhelming um, because I do have a lot of stuff that closet is packed. Just know that. But I try my best. I have drawers in there as well to organize my craft supplies, paper crafts and things like that, as well as my witchy supplies. But yeah, I kind of wanted to show you this. And I got this at Michael's, I'm pretty sure in 2022 maybe 2021, I can't remember. Uh, but I just wanted to show you just like the level of detail that they put on this. And it's really, really impressive. So I'm going to open this up. I wanted to remove the items on here. And I just really, and I love the colors. Those are all of my favorite colors. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like. Um, you know, honestly, just on the wall itself, it's perfect. I love this piece so much. I just wanted to highlight that. But yeah, um, this is my wall, which is decorative. Those mirrors, moon mirrors, were a gift for my son, uh, I think for like a birthday. And I had talked about in a haul these signs I got from Michaels in a combination of the Dollar Tree. And I love the way they look. They look familiar. Yeah, because I probably have them <laughs> sat in front of or they were in back of me on a video. Um, and that's a 2024 moon phase calendar. Uh, this was a fun gift that I got for myself and my coven sisters. Um, so yeah, and then here we go. So this is my fade altar, uh, one of many, but this is the one that I give them in a little tin. I keep shiny things so they don't take shiny things from me like jewelry and other things because they tend to go missing. So yeah, that's um, just a bag of goodies that I keep um, next to me, um, as just all kinds of witchy stuff that I've been gifted. And yeah, this is all of my desk. You saw my Cricut, uh, Cricut machine. That, that is a very wonderful thing. Get one if, if you would like. It's worth it. But yeah, this is my desk. This is where I film a lot of like plan with me's and anything I'm probably sitting down at a desk and doing in that overhead view. This is where I'm doing it. And um, on my desk, I have a lot of items that are like super helpful to me. One, I like having greenery around me, hence the plants. Um, let me get my finger out of that screen. Sorry about that. But yeah, just affirmations, things like that about peace. You see that? And stillness, the answer will be revealed. This was from a um, subscription box, but I love that. So I wanted to keep that on my desk. That's my... Um, grimoire in the background, personal grimoire. And I didn't realize I had so many spots on my screen. You don't know until you film. But I'm also obsessed, just a wee bit, uh, with K-pop. And those are three members from Stray Kids. Those are my biases. So that's why they're there. I like having that there. It makes me happy. And these are just some cards that I got when I was at a, a tarot convention. Uh, from the Ink Goddess, and I, you know, I just randomly pick cards, and I try to do those poses for stretching. Love that. 
Uh, more on that Candyland game, there's a purpose for that. But yeah, I wanted to show this side of the room. So the witch is inside. I use that for Halloween, a Dollar Tree purchase, but I like just having that there when the door shut. I love that picture. I got that, I'm pretty sure, in 2021 from Michaels. Uh, I painted that. That's one of my favorites. And um, yeah, that's a sigil that I created some time ago when I sort of was embarking on a big journey. Um, and that's just yet another symbolism for fey magic. Uh, in this cabinet, which I thrifted and then painted with gray chalk paint to sort of match the vibe of the wall that it's on, and brought the shelf that you're about to see separately, <laughs> and also painted it with the same paint. Um, yeah, I keep spell work in that cabinet, by the way, jars, bottles, things that are spelled. Um, this was a gift from one of my coven sisters. I love this so much. Uh, but yeah, the um, feathered uh, ink pen, also a gift from one of my coven sisters. And here is just my collection, um, you know, like crystal box sets, herbal sets, stones, things of that nature. There's a pendulum in that blue box, and that's just yet another pendulum and board um, that goes with it. That one specifically for Hecate. Got that off of Etsy, by the way. Um, that cactuses for inverted incense it you know I have I just don't like the way they smell unless I can find something really good or I figure out how to make it myself like I just I cannot stand the way it smells but I have a jar of something good in the background <laughs> um and all my little mini crystals yeah that's what that is I was showing that off on my shelf I try I'm trying to be organized a better organized person and believe it or not, there is organization to this, but these are like basically oils and sprays and mists and things of that nature and handmade oils and a mix of things that I've been gifted or purchased as well. So that is something that's in use. So I go to that when I need to. Um, a sound uh, bowl uh, there and just some herbal blends, what's left over of that psychic herbal blend that I have. And of course, my crystals <laughs> that I just like having. And I just want to show you here my sun catcher at window. Yeah, this is a window. I don't have much of a view when I'm in this room, but yeah, air conditioning unit right outside, but that's okay. Just wanted to show my sun catcher and my stones, uh, my crystals that are always, almost always in that window seal. So now let's get into the altars. Uh, this is for Persephone. This is a recent altar space. Uh, that book right there is dedicated to her. That's her grimoire. Those are some herbs there for her, just a candle and a spray. I got that in uh, the Witch's Root box. And here's my working altar. So let's take a quick little tour here. Um, that black candle is used often, so it's okay if it melts down like that. Um, it doesn't have a scent. I love it. It's a soy candle, but I basically like that to release negative energy. I painted that. That's um, representative of a goddess, in this case, Hecate. Uh, I got that imagery off of, I don't know, I think I did a Google search or something, and I got that imagery, and I went ahead and just framed it. And when I just have that with candlelights, it's great for meditative purposes or when I'm communing with Hecate. And I have several different things going on, on here. Um, I am a high priestess of a coven, so there's a lot of different stuff for our ceremonial magic. But yeah, I got, actually got that charm from Ink Goddess or um, Coin from Ink Goddess. I love that. So I added that to my altar. So I like to keep a card drawn um, as well. So that's what I recently drew for myself, and that's Moon Water. Um, that, yeah, I wanted to show this. This is actually to Yamaya. I created this, or Yamaya, depending on how you say it. <laughs> but I say Yamaya, Yamaya. I don't know, I'm kind of interchangeable with that. But yeah, there you go. I created that bottle on sept in September uh, for her. So I like creating sort of these bottles. And I took, I kept sand for my a recent trip I had to the beach. And that was a gift to me for my daughter. And I love that. And I can keep things in there. Um. I created that sign. So this is sort of my winter altar. So you see the decorations there. Um, that candle holder I actually got from Bath and Body Works. It's a year round purchase for me. And this is a cool thing. So this is another thing I gifted my coven sisters and I got all of us one. So it's basically a moon. It's by remote. You can change the colors. So 
when working, we do a lot of moon rituals, so this is perfect for that. Um, I, I really like this, by the way, and I keep this on sometimes just for soothing purposes. Love this. So yeah, and I keep it on a copper plate. So uh, just little doodads and things like that. That's a bell. You can see I'm actively using <laughs> that sage bundle. Um, and here's yet another altar. Yeah, there's a bit of a you see the red that's from a uh, previous burning of the candle, but that's okay. It just makes it more authentic. And that's a mirror that I use for divination as well, scrying. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much at the working altar. I have like ongoing spell work and candles and things like that that have been spelled. It's just a matter of just lighting them um, on the black cauldron in the background. And then underneath the desk, because I don't have a chair there, I just bring in a stool from another room when I need to sit there. Um, those are the items I keep underneath. So I can, if I need to ground and sit on the floor, there's that. I'm going to get into that Candyland game in just a moment so you understand what the heck that's about. So let, let's get into that right now. So here is my now converted Candyland game, which is now my road opener board. So this is the board entirely. So right now I do have um, some of my homemade charms on here. So essentially this is where I would start if I'm, you know, going about it this way. So this is where you go, you, you know, look at this, set those goals. So I got a bunch of different stickers. So on this path, you're setting your intentions. You're doing the work. You're maybe researching with spells and things like that to use. You're doing divination. That's what's happening over here. And then when you come over here, this is the shadow work lands. By the way, I renamed every section. Set your intentions. And this is the um, cleansing commons. So you're kind of starting fresh. So again, shadow work <laughs> um, land. And this is where you do just that healing energy you kind of expanding your mind and so forth and then we uh go ahead and just follow it on until we get to self-love hills and here it's everything you could think meditation um anything that needs to be that's what it is i'm gonna have to remove these off the board and then if we keep going peppermint ambition <laughs> so Peppermint and Ambition is a road. You can just take a detour here. And then that leads us over here to Manifest Abundance House. Create your own success. Money, magic, prosperity. That's what exists here. Think big, okay? Then as we go further, we end up here, which is... Um, I uh, don't think I've renamed this land. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my goodness. It's right in my face. Pure Magic Woods. So I left the fairy because I'm thinking like fairyland. And here, anything, um, be bold, you know, work with uh, fae magic, any of that, whatever it takes to get it done. <laughs> okay. So following along, then we end up here in Ice Palace Restoration. So, you know, this is your scripting space. This is where you kind of take a beat, you take a pause, you recognize that you're magic. Maybe you're, you know, you're resting and recharging, but you're just, you're taking a beat once you're here. Um, maybe we just let things sit for a minute on ice, so to speak. And we keep going. Oh, I almost forgot the space. Sorry about that. I realized on the way here, we forgot about this space here. So we have Be That Witch Lagoon. So this is where you're going to turn up the power. Um, this is where you're going to be that girl. Whoever that girl is to you, that's the one you want to be. Head girl in charge. You want to come in um, with that, you know, work with dark goddess energy. Um, if you so choose to, this is the time to do so. So once we're here, let me it back so then we end up over here and this is the creativity mountain so at this point you're kind of in the home stretch at getting that road open this is where you know you're probably doing more envisioning about what's to come you can see it and you know maybe you're going to make some modifications to what you believe you wanted to bring in your life this is going to be that opportunity and then finally this is where you know, it's sweet like honey. You know, you've made it. This is this is it. So this is the queen though. You know, this is where, you know, you you write your own way. You make it happen. This is it. This is this is what you're aiming for. Um so <laughs> this is my road opener board. 
and how I'm basically using it now is I take these with my symbols that I've created and that means something to me and I would do like that so at this point depending on the section and I'm in this lets me know um, peppermint ambition so because I see this uh, five-pointed star um, I say okay I know that represents protection so maybe keep my ideas a little closer to myself my um, uh, just kind of my ambitions and things like that I can record them but be very protective over them. maybe even do some additional protection work and then this landed over here in South Love Hills and this is a cauldron by the way symbol so that's lets me know, okay, so maybe I need to uh, either do womb level magic, so like feminine, divine, around self-love. It could potentially mean uh, the actual cauldron. Um, I would have to go a little bit deeper, whatever feels right to me at the time. So maybe some actual cauldron magic. So there's that, or even kitchen magic, honestly. And then we come over here, and this just says yes. And we're over here in this section, which is manifest abundance house. So yes, let's manifest abundance. So whatever that looks like, I can take the form of however I want. I can create a money jar. <laughs> you know, I can create do um, light a candle, um, light an incense, burn herbs. I can just write out uh, some sort of mantra and speak it. The point is the overall intention here is to create my own success in this section which is about manifesting abundance and abundance in whatever you are trying to bring forth but this is the way to get it done so the goal would be um to work this board until i'm ready to do the final bit here and there will be a final spell that i cast for the the overall thing that i'm trying to manifest so this is again my road opener board right now i'm not using any of the candy land charm i mean the um cards or the actual gingerbread men at this time this is fine i like working it this way so yeah this is the board so if you were looking for ideas there you go <laughs> you can take a game board this is something i've worked with my coven but i'll be using it for personal well, i'll use it for coven or personal uh, but i'm really excited about that board so again i just kind of want to circle back those are things i like to have readily available those cards so that changes up with certain cards i like to have ready um, and those are the kind of the cards that i'm using all the time right now so we're almost done here but i wanted to show you the other wall this is the door and if you notice that green heart sign there i painted that to represent different seasons um and feminine power but i did mention to you guys that i'm into k-pop i'm specifically a stay uh that's the fandom name for uh stray kids and that's who's up on the wall here um so this recent comeback album i kind of went a little crazy and um i have someone in my life who encourages this so they got me another album, so I'm able to collect posters. But please know it all started with BTS. That's Jungkook, and that's uh, Tiny Tan. That's RM, also from BTS. So yeah, this his album, Golden. If you have not listened to it, it's everything. But we're going to wrap up here. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the join button, and head over to leaptaking.com. Thank you.